Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You may be wondering, uh, Saji, why are you wearing so many layers? Well, this is actually symbolic uh, because people are very deep. They have many layers. You know how in the infamous film movie that won many awards, Shrek, he said, Ogres are like onions. They have layers. Well, I may not be an onion, but I am an ogre that has layers. Maybe I'm more like a... Tangerine. No, that's only one layer. What, what other foods have layers? I'm like a Tootsie Pop. I got a lot of layers that'll come off if you lick me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, I have a lot of layers that show me who I really am. So this is really just to symbolize all of my layers and who I am as a person. This one symbolizes art. This one symbolizes music. This one symbol... I'm just kidding. This doesn't symbolize anything, actually. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. Doesn't, doesn't have a deeper meaning. But let me show you guys how I got here. Hey. How's it going? The first video I made during quarantine last year was on horny teenagers and the rise of them during quarantine. I said, quarantine causes horny teens. And I was right. These horny teens have carried over into now this uh, post quarantine. And I wouldn't say they've gotten worse. There's definitely less of them, but the quality of the horniness is higher, much higher. Is, is that the right term? Quality of horniness? There, It's like quality, not good quality, bad quality, but the quality is there over the amount of teenagers making horny content. Am I washed out? Is it overexposed? We, sh we should be fine. Let me, let me try to focus here. So anyway, I was trying to think about, you know, what I wanted to film for this week. And I saw a specific individual on TikTok. His name is Trey Lander. And I was thinking about making a video on him for a while, actually. And one of his TikToks went viral recently. And I saw him again. And I was like, you know, maybe I should talk about these horny teenagers again. It's, it's been a while. And I feel like I should mark my territory as someone who mocks these people, because I'm gonna be honest with you, not, not enough people do. That's why I'm here today. So anyway, as a little bit of a challenge, fun, stuff um as you saw in the intro every time i cringe or i see something i don't like and i'm like oh what the hell is that i'm gonna add a piece of clothing to my body so you already saw where i was at but i don't know me currently i don't know how many clothes i'm gonna be wearing so i have a giant closet a very big closet it's like really big definitely not just like a space this big that i'm currently showing you now. It's definitely much bigger than that. I'm just going to be putting on clothes um, until I no longer cringe. I am so excited. But before we get started, if you guys have any topics or people that you think I would enjoy making fun of or enjoy talking about, DM me on Instagram. I will always answer. Yeah, and follow me. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have my headphones on. I'm ready to indulge in some Horny TikToks. Uh, again, the first person we're looking at is Trey Lander. His bio has his Venmo in case you enjoy his content so much that you want to send him money. Um, am I already cringing? No way. And then it says, click the link for behind the scenes content and to talk to me. I haven't shown you his content yet, but it doesn't look like there'd be much behind the scenes. He's just holding his phone and like lip singing or saying something that he thinks is meaningful. So I don't really understand what the behind the scenes would be. I, you know what? I'm just going to show you a TikTok so you can see what I mean. It's cool. I've turned a couple of lesbians straight in my time. So do you understand what I'm talking about? This comment that he's referring to says, yep, I'm definitely a lesbian, as in she's not attracted to him at all. And he's like, it's okay. <laughs> I've, I've, turned, I've turned a few lesbians straight in my time. I don't think that's how it works. I really, I, do, I definitely don't think that's how it works. But again, you know, what would the behind the scenes to this be? Just another person filming him ma making the TikTok? <laughs> yeah. I would definitely, I would definitely turn you straight. <laughs> just, just give me like one night and I definitely turn you straight. <laughs> All right. Good, good, good. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to post that for the behind the scenes. That's great behind the scenes work. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like right beside the window to like the street. There were people staring at me while I did that. So I kind of, I kind of broke character at the end, but okay. So I've already cringed. I'm going to get a piece of clothing. I'll be right back. Okay. I just added this short sleeve button down. Not, not too heavy yet, but we're, we're just getting into it. Y'all fall in love in two days. That's embarrassing as fuck. It takes me a 24 minute FaceTime call. We are not the same. Like exactly a 24 minute FaceTime call? If, if you exceed that limit or if you're under the 24 minutes, do you not fall in love? You're like on FaceTime and you're like, <laughs> you're so cool. You're so, you're so great. Yeah. Uh, 24. Oh shit. 24 minutes. I'm in, I'm in love with you. Oh shit, 25 minutes. Never mind. I take it back completely. <laughs> like what? Okay, I, I didn't cringe too hard at that one. Let's let's keep going. 
Okay, I, it wasn't bad. I wasn't really cringing until he did the, the thing with his tongue. What the hell was that? I need to get a piece of clothing. Okay, I've successfully put shorts over my pants. Um, actually, wait, this kind of works. Hold on. Let me, let me analyze. No, that does not. <laughs> that looks so goofy. Okay, now I can talk about what he's saying in this TikTok. He said, when she says your name at the end of a sentence, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm, that's so hot. That's so, what? In what context? Just like any time she says your name at the end of a sentence, what is the, what's the context here? What if you're just in line for like Subway? Yeah, I'll take the regular, okay, bread. Uh -huh. Let me just do ham, yep, uh -huh. provolone. Uh, tomato, lettuce. All right, I just need a name. Trey. All right, your food's ready, Trey. Did you just, did you just come? Okay, I had to rearrange some clothing, um, but had to add a big piece for that one. That was unbearable. I don't even have anything to say for that one. We're, we're moving on. Okay, this one says, so I just finished all the Twilights and, and I just wanted to see, you know, what I'd look like as a Cullen. If you don't know, a Cullens are the family of vampires in Twilight um, and they're usually very pale and have like bright ass eyes. I think they're usually red, I don't know. I accidentally liked the video. Let me take that back. Ooh, my bad. Um, yeah, that's just makeup. Doesn't really make you paler. It actually adds more like redness to your cheeks. So that doesn't really make you look like a vampire. I'm not going to lie to you. But A for effort? I don't know. I didn't really cringe. I'm kind of disappointed in that one, honestly. All right, so we're, we're moving on to our second horny teen candidate. His name is Nase. Nase. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I guess he isn't a horny teen. He's 20 years old. So... Does that make it worse? Yeah, I think so. If you're not a teenager and you still do this type of stuff, that 100% makes it worse because you've matured and you should be, you know, more self-aware. Uh, yeah, so this definitely makes it worse. Let's dive into it. Okay, <laughs> bad feeling about this one. The comment says, can you do it again? I was walking my car. And usually when you see comments like that, it's because that person just did like some thirst trap and somebody wants to see it again. So I wonder what that thirst trap was. He's not wearing a shirt, so. I'm gonna blur it, but it was just him thrusting. It was, he was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and, oh my God. I need to be baptized immediately. On to another clothing piece. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been working out recently. Ah, uh, it's only, I'm only gonna get stronger as this video goes on. I guess let's continue, oh boy. All right, all right. If you kiss my neck, I'm not responsible for what happens next. Why did you do that angle? Why? Why? I'm blurring that too. Holy shit, I need, I need more clothing. This is some horny content, man. Holy shit. Okay, he's wearing a shirt. Let's go, let's go. He's wearing a shirt. Okay, I don't have a dirty mind. I have a sexy imagination. What? Huh? Is that not the same thing, just with different synonyms? Dirty, sexy. Yeah, those are synonyms. Mind, imagination. Yeah, no, those are all, they, yep, yeah, same thing, different font. I don't know why you're trying to defend yourself here. You're taking too much creatine, you're working out too much, your testosterone levels are at an all-time high, okay? Let's, let's bring that down a little bit, please, for the sake of everyone on the entire earth, please. I really didn't think I'd have to wear so many clothes, but I guess here we go, okay. What layer am I on right now? This is my sixth layer. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'm starting to break a sweat a little bit, but at least my guns are huge. I, I can't play the sound, obviously, because it'll get copyrighted, but at the end, the sound was like, yes, that's the point. And he's like talking about how I love it when we do it with the lights on. And then the other person's like, but we always do it with the lights off. He's like, yeah, that's the point. We should do it with the lights on. I assume he's talking about 
laser tag obviously here laser tag is you know mostly done in the dark but it's a lot easier in the light you know it defeats the purpose of lasers he might buy nerf guns or something um but that's that's an understandable one didn't really cringe at that that's a actual relatable tiktok i applaud him for that i would love to see more laser tag content from you putting that out there Alrighty, this is the last guy his name is j maxi what's up my name's j maxi and i'm just some guy he has an OnlyFans account, um, which I think is pretty dope. Not a lot of guys do that, so I applaud him for being able to put himself out there like that on a platform that's looked down upon, especially for men. But it's not gonna stop me from making fun of some of your TikToks. And there's only there's only two. And like axe murderer. Worse. What? I'm a gamer. I would be amazed, except for the fact that it is other TikToks. I don't see a third leg. There's just two legs. I mean, is there a name for someone with three legs? There's like a centaur. That's four legs, like half horse, half man. What animal has three legs? Does any animal? That'd be wildly inefficient. How the fuck do you run with three legs? Like four legs, you're galloping. Two legs, you're like running. But how the fuck would that look if you're running with... Would two be in the back and one be in the front? Okay, guys, I'm not stupid. I know he's talking about his penis. I know, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. I'm just confused with the context here. You know what, let me go get some clothing and figure out my thoughts and I'll be back. Do people not know you have a penis? Do people not know that you're a guy? Do you not tell them that? I... It's a question, that's a question. Obviously, you can be whatever you want, right? Your body, but do people just not assume you're a guy already? You have to tell them, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> I got a third leg. <laughs> you mean dick? I mean, yeah. But third leg sounds cooler. You know what? Maybe that's our fault. We shouldn't be assuming. He can be whatever he wants, okay? J Maxi, you can be whatever you want. No shame in it, okay? We shouldn't be assuming. You're right. We should ask you if you have a third leg. That's what we should be doing. What if that's how we asked for pronouns? It wasn't like, wh what are your pronouns? It's, so do you have a third leg or what? <laughs> like, what? Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm Jen. Hey, yo, what's up? I'm, I'm J Maxi. S so, so what? You got a third leg? <laughs> what? Do you have a, do you have a third leg, you know, like, a, like a, like a penis? <laughs> um, no, no, I don't. I don't have, I don't have a, no, I'm a girl. That's crazy. I have a third leg. <laughs> but you know what that means? You're a uh, you have a penis? Is that what that is? I mean, that's what that means, right? No, I actually have a third leg. Oh shit, how did I not see that? You actually do have three legs. Yeah, that's why I was asking because I feel so alone all the time with my three legs. Nobody's like me. So, you know, if, if you have a third leg, we'd be able to relate more. Maybe you could be hiding it. Some people's third legs are really tiny, like a penis. This is another video about his dick. <laughs> that's, I'm so interested. Um, okay. So he was lying when he said third leg. What he really meant was third hand. I, I guess I'm impressed. That's all I have to say. And I think that's where we're gonna end it. What have we learned from this? Um, horny teenagers on TikTok are still a thing. You know, they've actually evolved and gotten older. Some are 20, which is insane. Um, obviously, by all of my layers and clothing, um, they're very cringy. I've cringed a lot. Exactly eight. I've cringed eight times, which actually doesn't sound like a lot now that I think about it. Maybe I cringed more, but I'm not going to put any more clothing on because I feel like I'm a California forest fire. That was... Not a good joke. That was- I'm sorry. That wasn't a good joke. Um, anyways, I, I gotta go. I gotta take this shit off. I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Follow my Twitch, follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram. And I will see you guys. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, God. Pe Peace.